my name is Lena. I'm an artist and illustrator, I'm originally from Australia, and I'm the owner of Pansy, which is part shop, part studio, and also a workshop space. I wanted to make a space that I could share work from artists that I really love from around the world, um, in ceramics and illustration, prints, um, zines, little homewares and gifts. Yeah, I wanted to yeah make something that was really cheerful and exciting and a place where people felt um, happy and inspired to come into. And it's also a space where I get to work and share my own things and create every day. Um, and make things that make me happy too. Yeah, I've worked as an artist for the past, yeah, 10 years. <gasps> it's a lot of time. <laughs> uh, yeah, but my background is in fine art, so I did a major in printmaking, and I used to actually run a space very similar to this in Australia with a team of um, creatives and friends. Yeah, two years ago, I moved to the Netherlands for a bit of a new adventure and to try something new. And I never thought I could run or like own a space of my own, um, but this was super lucky and I yeah, was able to meet the right people at the right time and yeah, find a space that I really resonated with and I fell in love with it straight away. And since then I've been able to yeah, make my little dream come true. This is a nice example because there's ones that are finished. So these are some little tables. And this is what they look like before they go into the kiln. And so this is made from earthenware clay and it has a, a glaze on it, which means it's a, like a color on top. And then once it goes into the kiln, it gets fired at 1050 degrees Celsius. And then it turns into a very shiny, colorful object like this. And this is one of my favorite vases. <laughs> So these are designed to meant to um, hang on the wall. So they have a little hole in the back, but they can also sit flat. And the idea is that you put little flowers in here. You can put some water in there. And then it's like a little vase that can sit on your table or hang Maybe on the I'll show you upstairs. So a lot of the illustration that I do, I start on paper and I use gouache, which is this sort of, it's a type of um, water-based paint. And so I really like using gouache because I tend to find it's really um, like a velvet finish and it's really matte and the colors are really beautiful. So I tend to work with gouache and I make the illustrations on paper and then I scan them into my computer and then I do a bit of manipulation. And this is some products that are sitting here. These are some greeting cards that I've had printed. So I do work with a printer. Um, in Amsterdam, so I do like to keep all of my production local. If I can't make it myself, then I'll work with a, another company that can help me make them. And so these are greeting cards that are folded, and then I put a little envelope in them. And then, if you come up here, you'll see the final product, um, which is all my little greeting cards up here. And you can see that there's like a bit of a mix of different artists' work, it's my work, it's work that, um, yeah, I find interesting, or I've known the illustrators before, or I've worked with them, or I just love their work and I want to share it, so a bit of a mix. These are some of my ceramics that I make, so there's like little cups, and I tend to like drawing faces because I think it's nice to have some things that are happy and some that are sad. Um, yeah. Also patterns and colours, you can tell that I love these kinds of colours. I'm a local maker, um, and she's from Portugal, and so yeah, she also lives really nearby, and so each of the things that I choose in the shop, I've got a relationship with the maker, or I know them, or I'm friends with them. And so every time someone comes to buy something, then I can tell them like, oh, Katerina made this, or Bodo made this, or uh, yeah, Roger made this, and so I think that's really nice to share um, with the customers and tell them a bit more about the story behind the objects. And yeah. I think I feel the most excited when um, people come inside and they really um, feel also excited by what I'm doing, or they feel happy, or they tell me like, oh my gosh, this is the cutest store, and. I get to have like a really nice conversation with people and that's something that 
to me is the most exciting thing about having a shop is that it's a space where people can come in and feel um, yeah interested or curious or inspired by the things in here and so I think that's when I feel the most happy is having yeah really funny or interesting conversations and I get to know um, all of my customers um, yeah in a personal way and connect with them. I think yeah there is a particular style that I am drawn towards and that is something that's like really colourful, quite naive, um, there, there's just like a lot of colour on colour on colour and it's quite like illustrative which I think like I'm really drawn to and I think maybe there's not as many um, spaces or shops that are, are heavily focused in illustration so I think maybe that's something that I can bring um, a little bit more to in Amsterdam and all of the um, yeah, things that I chose in here are individually picked um, by me and there are things that I love and things that I would love to have in my house or give to someone and I think almost all the makers I have in here are independent one person female businesses and I think that's yeah super important because yeah they're just like me and uh, I think it, it shows in the aesthetic that I choose. Oh, and I take my brushes. So at first, like, cause I know it's gonna hang up here. I'm just do like a little circle. I'm glad you said. I think pink is always a good color. So it's not good at pink. And it dries like matte. So that's my first layer. And then I usually go around the sides like this. <laughs> 